Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, and this is episode 124. So within this episode, guys, I'm going to show you how to install and configure your remote desktop services web access within Windows Server 2008 R2. Now this is a part two, this is gonna be a two part video. Second part, I'm gonna show you how to import and enable a digital certificate in IIS 7. Okay, so let's get started. Now first thing I wanna do is you want to start your server manager. Now, in this example, I got a fresh server which is a domain member, and I'm going to put the license licensing server and, on the same box. From the server manager, you wanna to go to roles and you wanna add a row. Okay, you want to click on next, and from here you're gonna choose remote desktop services. Okay, hit next, and hit next again. You can read this. Hit next. Now what you want to do is everything is going on one server. You may want to split rows up in a larger production environment, but they but here we're adding remote desktop session host, remote desk remote desktop session host. Uh, remote desktop licensing, uh, remote desktop gateway, and now, note, when selecting role services, you will be prompted to add required roles services, so please do so. Add all the ones that you need. Good. And the next one is remote desktop web access. Again, add all the roles that you need. Hit next. Hit next. Now. On the, the authentication method, because this is my testing environment, I'm not really going to go crazy. But best practices is you require a network level, uh, network level authentication when you're doing it in a production. I'm going to do do not require network level. So hit next. Cool. Now, with the licensing mo model, you got to do per user or per device or you know select it to configure it later. I'm going to do per user for my environment. And hit next. Now, then what you want to do is you want to add a group. So I'm going to add domain users because I want all my domain users to have access to this. Okay. And then we're going to hit next. And <clears throat> decide which option you want to allow to enrich your end user's experience. So I'm basically going to pick everything. All right. And I'm going to hit next. Now, up to this point, I don't need a scope because all my RD servers will be in, on one server. Uh, if you have TS server, if you have a terminal server, or as well, you can also configure a scope. Meaning, if you split the services up into different machines, a scope is needed. But for me, I'm putting everything into one machine, so a scope is not needed. So hit next. Okay? Now, uh, if you already have a certificate, you can select it here. But I'm going to manually import the certificate into IIS at the end of this procedure, which is going to be basically part two. So stay tuned, guys. Okay. So I am going to do is choose a certificate or SSL encryption later, and then I'm going to hit next. Okay. Uh, you want to select now to configure the access policies. Hit next. Now. You need to add which user group you want to allow through remote desktop gateway. Okay, I'm basically going to add domain users again. Okay, so I'm going to add domain users. Yep, I want to add domain users. Let's go here, domain users. Don't worry about that dong sound. That is my phone going off the hook, like always. I'm always a busy man. So once you do that. You're gonna hit next, and at the RD cap screen, I'm just going to use password. I'm gonna hit next. Then at the RD wrap screen, I'm going to allow connection to any to any other computers on my network. Okay, hit next. Uh, hit next again. Uh, I'm just gonna let the network policy component to be installed. Right, <laughs> and hit next. 
hit next accept all the web services rows as is you don't have to pick anything hit next and that's about it that's it guys uh, go catch it go get a cup of coffee uh, once this is done you need to reboot the server and that's it that's that's all we need to do for today's episode on part two on episode 125 I'm gonna show you guys how to get it up and running uh, in, enable and install the certificate and also show you the remote desktop services how it looks and what it really is uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode please give me thumbs up and at the very bottom leave some comments and at the very top right there there is a subscribe button hit that subscribe button if you guys want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and I catch you guys later thank you so much